Okay, folks, I'll just turn this around. I'm just going to show you. Some people ask me why a baiting system over a chemical barrier. Um, and look, every house is different. This particular house has a subfloor, and the subfloor is subject to a heap of rain water running through it, and there's big wells cut through it. There's all sorts of things going on. Um, they go around the post. It's a right nightmare and it's going to cost a fortune to get a plumber in to come and sort this out and deal with that so the best option here is is a baiting system and i installed this about two years ago and we've had a few of the stations become active and i'll just show you this one now it's actually active um chemical barriers are are great and i do install them but these are good people say to me you know as well but the baits, how do you know the termites are going to strike them? Trust me, they strike them. All right, this one's active now. I'll just pull it out and show you these termites around the actual bait. You can see I don't want to disturb them too much. But they're nicely harvesting that bait there. And they will take it back. So you've just got to put it back. Still plenty of bait in there. You just close it up. And basically leave them to kill themselves pretty much what they do and these are placed every three meters apart so um, that's actually a centricon rod in there but I've now moved to the Trilona um, baiting system they work awesome both systems work awesome this one has had three stations there's two actually today there's this one and the one behind me that's active but I've been here in the past and had another station hit one of these um, so this area is obviously um, quite subject to um, to termites um, so they work fantastically since we've had the station installed we've had no termite activity in the house under the subfloor nothing these things are put every three meters around the house and the termites can smell them out under the ground and they work just as good as a chemical barrier um, without a doubt so um, there's reasons for putting them in different houses um, some houses if there's already the holes drilled for a chemical barrier then obviously you wouldn't go to the expense of um, putting a baiting system in you'd have that re-filled um, um, but this particular place with a subfloor it's just got too much moisture running underneath it and if I put a chemical barrier around each of these um, concrete piers it's just going to get washed away no matter how good it is the only product i use when i do chemical barriers is termidor he um, it's a fantastic product it really is it's the best um, but nothing can stop it being washed away by the rain end of story these bait stations the trelona ones and the centricon ones moisture nothing affects them whatsoever as long as they get regularly um, maintained and cleaned about every six months i'm doing this one and uh, you've got no issues so what i will do with this site now is um i'll come back in about a month we're heading into winter now we're into winter and um the termites will slow down so i'll just leave these chewing away they'll take the product back to the colony they pass it around and it'll just wipe the whole nest out so they work and they work awesome you just have to trust in your termite technician